Well, English for 2024 is over, and it finished with a little bit of a jolt, didn't it? This wasn't a straightforward paper. So let's go through it in order and have a look at Hamlet. So role of women did come up, which was predicted, but very specifically on Gertrude and Hamlet's relationship with her. Um, that was a very nice question because you probably had quotes and stuff for that. But talking about the core issues was very precise. I think that was probably the more popular question today would be my guess. Because Hamlet, as a surprisingly positive and hopeful drama, I'm wondering where that came from, because I don't think I've ever said Hamlet and hopeful in my uh, teaching of it. So you were required to be brave there. You had to actually go against the grain and say, well, except for the concept of tragedy and a resolution, this is a very negative play. So, you know, you could have spun it to fit your needs, but you had to be brave on the day. And if you did, you'd be rewarded. But I imagine the Gertrude question was the more popular there. And the core values of revenge and corruption, probably, and misogyny, of course, would have fit that. The comparative questions were lovely. And of course, this year, all three modes came up. So they had the choices in the A and B for the 3040, and they had the uh, 70 marker, which takes in all three. So in that respect, I didn't think there was anything too uh, upsetting, except I hope you all read the questions really carefully, because uh, when I looked at it first in the theme and issue, I saw selfish but it's actually selfless. So I hope no one else made that same mistake with me to read the questions perfectly. But lovely uh, theme and issue, lovely cultural context, uh, lovely literary genre. I don't think anybody would have had any issues there. I loved the unseen poem. I thought it was a beautiful continuous metaphor of the grandfather being like a flat pack. I thought it was funny, it was humorous, but it was poignant and lovely. And I think you might have even enjoyed answering that question. I think that might have given you a small uh, sense of relief before you went on to the prescribed poetry. Because let's face it, all the beauties came up. You had five poets coming up this year and you probably were euphoric when you saw it first. <gasps> Yeats, Nequilinon, Dickinson, Plath, Heaney. You probably had a major choice. And then you read some of the detailed ones like Plath as a social commentator. Really? I'd struggle with that one. Yeats with fascinating contradictions. My suggestions might be that you might not have been able to do your first choice if they were yours. You might have gone on and done the lovely ones on Heaney or Nequilinon maybe, and Dickinson was quite predictable. So all in all, I think you might have been a little delighted initially to see your poets come up and then had to draw breath just a tad and get your ducks in a row in order to answer and keep on task and being purposeful in these questions. But that said, if you left the exam hall today feeling a little unsure of whether that paper went well for you or not, I would say most of the country are feeling the same. So it's over now. You've done the very, very best you could. I'm sure you have done really well. English is over. I hope you enjoyed your two years of the Leaving Cert course. Now I believe maths is next. Good luck in that.